we start with another session on cat shortcuts when lot of people look at shortcuts they feel that there are big formulas which will help you things solve things faster but shortcuts in cat examination is just logical way of solving you need to just understand the sum and try to solve it mugging up too many formulas will just make you slow because in the exam most of the sums are not based on formula a. and if you try to recollect formula you will just waste short waste your time there could be some sums which where formulas could help you but i feel remembering so many formulas for just few sums is actually a waste of time and will affect the way you solve other sums when you look at a sum you should directly go with your methods and try to get the answer instead of wasting on what formula to solve so we take few sums where we look at patterns options and how to understand the sum and solve so here the question asks us what is 6 raised to 11 raised to 17 we know the cyclicity rule to find the last digit but here they ask the tens place i have heard that there are formulas to find the tens place but it, i normally am against formula so here we look at how to look at patterns whenever cat asks you a sum which is very difficult to solve you will always have a pattern so we'll start with 6 raised to 1 is 6 6 square 36 6 cube 216 since we're looking only last two digits we look at last two digits 6 raised to 4 we solve 96 66 96 raised to 5 you will get 76 6 raised to 6 56 six raised to 7 36 and then you automatically make out that the pattern gets repeated there will be a pattern because somewhere this 10 digit will start repeating so if you look at the pattern the pattern is of these five which will keep repeating in the next five so i know the pattern is of 5555 if i look at this whole thing it is nothing but a multiple of 10 plus 1 or a multiple of 5 plus 1 that means it is 6 raised to multiple of 5 plus 1 because 11 raised to 17 you will look at it anyway you find out 11 raised to 1 is multiple of 5 plus 1 11 square is multiple of 5 plus 1 so it's basically a multiple of 5 plus 1 multiple of 5 plus 1 will end in 56 because multiple of 5 plus 1 is 6 56 11 will be 56 and so on so we can clearly make out that the tens place is 5 so the idea of solving this sum is trying to find the pattern and trying to get the answer and you will be able to solve it here n people in the office so to make all possible connection five more people join and the lines are increased by 75 ideally the way out solve this is go by options obviously when you choose the option you always take the middle option so you can go up and down based on what answer you get and try to see from the question what option you can get i see it is increased by 75 and 5 so ideally i take something which is a multiple of 5 there is something called 20 and there is something called 15 we start 50 because it's a middle number somewhere in between not the largest or the smallest so if i take 15 that means initially there were 10 people number of lines will be nc2 or n into n minus 1 up, upon 2 so for 10 it will be 10 into 9 upon 2 which will be 45 moment i add five more people 15 it becomes 15 into 14 upon 2, which is 105. So I realize I require 60 more lines. But here the answer is 75 more lines. That means my answer should be more than that. So I'll substitute 20 and check out. 15 I already got. So if I take 20, 20 into 19 upon 2, which will give you 190, which gives you 85 more lines. No, the answer has to be less than that. That means it should be somewhere between 20 and 15. i know the answer is 18 if you want you can check out if there are 13 people you can make out 13 into 12 upon 
will be 78 and by 18 people it will be 18 to 17 upon 2 will be 153 and the difference is 75. So what I did here just substitute the option didn't bother about forming equations or anything and try to solve it. I tried to eliminate saying that it should be a multiple of 5 it didn't work out but it works out sometimes and sometimes whatever the first option you substitute you get the answer and try to substitute a middle option which will help you to reduce the number of times you try. Why is the largest integer less than or equal to y and y denotes y minus y. That means y minus y is nothing but the fractional part of y and y is nothing but the integer part of y. If you look at sum 11y plus 23y. So I can make out this will be integer. To get the answer as an integer, so this also should be an integer. This will only be an integer if it is divisible by 23. Something upon 23 should give you 2 fifth integer. So I know this numerator can be anything from 1 to 22. Coming back here, I will check out which values will give you close to 250. So if I substitute 21, let's say, 21 into 11 gives you 232, 231 sorry, plus 19 I require to make 150. So this can be 19 upon 23. So y can be 19 upon 23. If I take uh, y as 22, I get 22 into 11, 242. What is left is 88. So the other one has to be 8 upon 23. If I take y as 23, it goes more than 250, so not possible. And if I take y as let's say 20 it becomes 11 into 20 220 I require 30 more to get 250 but 30 cannot be enumerated to be more than 1 so I know the answer will be 2 1 will be 23 19 by 23 and second will be 20, 22 sorry 21 19 by 23 or 22 8 by 23 so 2 will give you the answer so here what I did was I tried to understand the sum. Basically calculating why the right hand side should be equal to left hand side. So it should be integer. Then try to simplify as to how to go about getting integers and from there I made out the answer. In most of the sums that are in CAT you cannot solve without understanding the sum. So instead of trying to put formulae and trying to do lot of things just try to understand. Give yourself one minute try to understand and you will be able to solve it faster not even one minute just give yourself 30 seconds and automatically you will tend to be faster if you can understand the sum in a better way yeah we will be solving more such sums you can subscribe to these videos okay and uh, we'll try to help you if you want any more help with regards to any set of questions you can send it to us and we'll try to guide you with regards to the same thank you